If some pony had told me when I was a blank blank that one day I'd give a speech to a class at Celestia School of Magic, I wouldn't have believed it, but... I hope that I've been up to the task, because I can tell that all of you are, and that the future of equestrian magic is in good hooves. Wow! <laughs> That was even better than the first 11 times. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, Spike. I'd like to be able to get through the whole speech without looking at the cards. Come on, Twilight. You can't be nervous about giving a speech to a bunch of magic students. Oh, I'm not nervous, Spike. But I do have to set a good example, especially for magic students. That's why this speech has to be... <sighs> Perfect. Exactly. Let's go through it one more time. <clears throat> when Princess Celestia asked me to speak to you today, I was honored to have the opportunity to talk about my favorite subject, magic. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete to have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Obviously, the long-term effects of the simultaneous acquisition of cutie marks has yet to be determined, but... Next slide, please. <laughs> I can speak from my own experience that the power of cutie mark magic is very real. And in the instance of my friends and I, it can be traced to a single event. Without Rainbow Dash's race to defend Fluttershy's honor, this rain boom wouldn't have happened. Fluttershy might never have discovered her love of animals. Applejack might never have realized that she belonged on her farm. And Pinkie Pie might never have decided to leave hers. It might be hard to imagine Rarity without her sense of fabulousness. But it's even harder to fathom what my life would be like. Without this rain boom, I might not have gotten into magic school. Celestia wouldn't have taken me on as her pupil or sent me to Ponyville to meet my friends. And the most powerful thing about Cutie Mark Magic that I found is the connection I share with them. But, um... The real question about Cutie Mark Magic is who it seems to affect. Starlight Glimmer? I was sure I saw her, Spike, but when I looked again, she was gone. I'm just worried what she could be up to. Nothing good, I bet. I heard she wasn't very happy the last time we saw her. Forcing every pony in her village to have the same cutie mark wasn't right. We had to do something. And now she's coming back for revenge. Uh, or she was just really interested in your speech. Honestly, Spike, I'm not really sure what I saw. But as long as I have my friends, I know everything will be all right. Maybe I was just more stressed about that speech than I thought. Yeah, that sounds better than Starlight Glimmer coming back with an evil plot for revenge. Well, when you say it like that, it does sound kind of silly. Or it's totally true. Welcome home, Twilight. What are you doing, Starlight? <laughs> I tell you, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Won't be needing that anymore.
Where'd she go? I don't know, Spike, but I think we better find out. I guess we could start with this. Spike, no! Don't touch that! she come here? I don't know, Spike, but it looked like she could fly with just magic. Keep your eyes open. We don't know what she has planned. <gasps> Isn't that Rainbow Dash? Did Rainbow Dash look really young to you? And I didn't see a cutie mark. You don't think... We traveled back in time to when Rainbow Dash raced the bullies who made fun of Fluttershy and performed her first sonic rainboom? Spike, only Star Swirl the Bearded could do something like that. And even his spell just went back a week. How could Starlight do more than the greatest wizard in Equestria? With this. Star Swirl's spell? Oh no! Come on, let's go! Go where? To watch the race. I don't want to miss the rainbow. before it's too late. Um, Twilight? I think it already is. <gasps> uh, Twilight? Where's your castle? The map pulled us back. But whatever Starlight did in the past changed things here. But why? How do we get here? And where's here? More like when. What do you mean? Starlight altered Star Swirl's spell, then somehow used it on the map to travel into the past and change something. Once she did, the map pulled us back to the present. So we're back where... I mean, when we started? Not exactly. Everything's different. Look. The map doesn't even make sense anymore. The Crystal Empire takes up half of Equestria. Plus, there's a whole missing castle thing. Right. This is too big to handle on our own. You think? We need to find our friends and get help. I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Twilight. 
I know, Spike, but this is Ponyville. How bad can things be? Is that Sugar Cute Corner? I don't understand. She's here, Spike. I'm not sure anything we know is the same. But I know one place that could never change. I do for you. It's so good to see you. We couldn't find Pinky or Rarity or Fluttershy or Rainbow Dash, but I just knew you'd still be here. Of course I am. This is my home. But who in tarnation is Pinky Bow and Flutter Dash? Or you, for that matter. You don't know who I am? Nope. Honestly, the only name I recognize is Rarity, but she left for Manhattan years ago. Probably to become a world famous fashion designer at that. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she went to help with the cause, like every pony else. The cause? The war against King Sombra and the Crystal Empire. What? Where have you two been? Actually, it's when. I know this is hard to believe, but you and I and those other ponies I mentioned are friends. Did you bump your head on a crate of cider or something? I'm telling you the truth, and if you come with me, I'll prove it. Well, I'll admit, I've lived in these here parts my whole life, and I've never seen this before. There's also supposed to be a castle that goes with it. But I still don't see what this has to do with you and I being friends. Another pony named Starlight Glimmer used this map to travel through time and change things in the past. For some reason, the map's here, but everything else is different. Different how? Well, for one thing, where we came from, there's no war with King Sombra. Maybe you could tell us how the war started. Then we can figure out when everything changed. That's easy enough. <sighs> when the Crystal Empire returned, it brought King Sombra back with it. And it didn't take long for him to force every one of his subjects to fight for him against Equestria. you're leading the charge. It still takes every last pony in Equestria doing their part, working day and night to keep up the fight. I just can't believe it. We stopped King Sombra. You and me and all of our friends. But we aren't friends. At least not here. Right. Look, I hope all this helped, but I really need to get back to canning those apples. Thank you. We're going to set things right. <sighs> I hope you do. So, how are we going to set things right? I don't know! The only thing 
we know for sure is that Starlight stopped the rain boom. And that the map's still here. <gasps> Spike, that's it! The map is connected to the Tree of Harmony. It must sense that something isn't right. That's why it's still here. I'll just use Starlight's version of the spell and go back a little earlier and stop her before she even knows we're there. Now is find starlight and well finding her will be easy but stopping her is gonna be harder than you think sorry to disappoint you but I created that spell to send myself back in time so even when you cast it I still get sent back here it wasn't difficult to change star swirl's spell he'd already done the hard part but figuring out I could use the map to go to any time or place and pull you along with me? <laughs> I even impressed myself with that. I knew you'd try to stop me. You're so predictable. Why else would I leave the scroll behind? Touching it triggered the map to whisk you here and watch me erase the one thing that linked you with your friends. My village was a sanctuary of equality where no pony's cutie mark allowed them to feel superior. It was a special place, and you and your friends took it away! Now it's my turn to take something special from you! Without the rain boom, you and your friends will never form your special cutie mark bond! Cutie marks for cutie marks! Sounds like a fair trade to me! Starlight as soon as Rainbow Dash and those bullies race by. Um, Twilight? So be ready. I know, but... Because she can pop up anywhere. Like, over there? <gasps> Just remember how you'd feel if someone said those things to you. What's going on here? Oh, I was just reminding these two colts how hurtful teasing can be. Well, don't. What? Huh? I mean, you were? Of course! In a world where every pony is unique, some are bound to feel more special than others. But that isn't a license to be cruel, is it? No, of course not. Oh, isn't it a shame we don't live in a world where every pony is equal? No one would ever tease anyone there. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm-hmm. No, it wouldn't! I mean, it'd be nice not to be teased, of course, but that's not the same thing! Come on, Fluttershy. Maybe I can help you get through the course this time. Well, uh, I sure could use the practice. I know you only convinced those bullies to not tease Fluttershy to stop the rain boom. Oh, that's not true. I convinced them not to be bullies because every pony should be equal. Stopping the rain boom is just a bonus. Look! This isn't over yet. If you say so. Hi! Um, hi. You think you can stop for a minute? Sure. I hear you're pretty fast. Pretty fast? Please! I'm even faster than that! Okay, so, um, hey, you wanna race? Um, that wouldn't really be fair. I mean, you're a full-grown pony, and... Wait, are you an alicorn? Come on, I thought you were fast! Ha-ha! <laughs> Actually, I just remembered I have somewhere I need to be. Okay, listen, you don't have to race me. I just need 
need you to fly fast enough for a sonic rain boom. What? I can't do that. No pony can. It's not even a real thing. It's just an old mare's tail. But it's not. I know it's not. I've seen you do it in the future. Okay. I'm gonna go now. No, wait! Gee, Twilight, what's the matter? Couldn't convince her to do the impossible? That's too bad. <sighs> well, that didn't work. This is gonna be harder than I thought. We'll have to try again. Hey, Twilight. I don't want to live in that awful future we saw. I don't think you'll have to. Pinky? Fluttershy? Silence! Changeling. All servants of Queen Chrysalis found in these woods must be destroyed! Spike. Welcome home, Twilight. We traveled back in time to when Rainbow Dash performed her first sonic rain boom? Without the rain boom, you and your friends will never form your special cutie mark bond. But whatever Starlight did in the past changed things here. I don't want to live in that awful future we saw. I don't think you'll have to. All servants of Queen Chrysalis found in these woods must be destroyed! Wait! We're not changelings! I'm a pony, and he's a dragon! A likely story! Do something dragonish! <laughs> that works! The servants of Chrysalis would do anything to save their evil skins. If they are changelings, we'll soon see. Though I think they're not what they appear to be. Zakora, Please, you have to listen. Beneath this salve, no changeling hides, for it reveals the truth inside. The meaning is far worse, I see, for it is we who should not be. I think I can explain. I'm sure you can, but let's not talk here. Chrysalis and her army will soon draw near. The changelings took over not long ago, though I'll wager in your world that isn't so. Chrysalis and her army tried to take over Canterlot, but my friends and I stopped her. Those friends as you know them are not here, alas. But tell me, how all this came to pass? Starlight Glimmer, a pony who traveled back in time to stop my friends and me from ever coming together. And it is these friends you have in life that keep Equestria free from strife? I guess so, but this is the second time I've come back and this world is even worse than the last one. If Starlight keeps doing the same thing in the past, how could the present be so different? Ah, time is a river where even the tiniest changes seen can lead to a cascade of effects downstream. This part of the forest is dark and damp, but it's done well to hide our camp. This is cozy. <gasps> Please! You have to help us! The changelings attacked Ponyville! We barely escaped with our lives! The only changeling attack I see is the one that come here looking for me! It's taken quite a while to find you, Zakora. <laughs> What a lovely village you've chosen to stage your little resistance. 
It looks absolutely delicious. Oh, come now, Zakora. You're vastly outnumbered. I know you don't want your charges hurt. Come quietly to the dungeons of Canterlot, and I promise to leave the others alone. Why would she ever trust you? Even if there's a chance Chrysalis will honor her word, shouldn't you try? Race to the map while we hold off the attack. Stop Starlight and put the whole world back on track. Time to make a decision, Sakura. Even if what you are saying were true, we'd never surrender to a creature like you! No! It's gonna take a lot more than that. Lucky for you, there's more where that came from. You've really gotta work on your aim. Obviously don't mean us falling because that's becoming pretty routine. No, it's just the other times we've come back. It's been day. But look. Why would the map bring us back to a different time of day than when we left? Um, maybe we should figure it out later. <laughs> cleaner than I remember. Rarity? The castle isn't open for viewings today. The tapestries all need changing. Again. Rarity! It's me! I don't socialize with dragons. I don't know any pony who would. Rarity, you have to listen to me. The future of Equestria is at stake. I don't know how you know my name, but I am far too busy to entertain some tourist's ridiculous fantasies. I have to get back to the map so I can stop Starlight from changing the past, because every present I come to is worse than the last! Time travel, you say? Now that's something I would like to see. <laughs> how you came by this magic to travel through time. The princess asked you a question. And unless you want to end up in the dungeon, you'll tell her what she wants to know. No pony in my kingdom but me should possess a magic powerful enough to change time. Your kingdom? Who else? Um, Celestia, of course. <laughs> has been imprisoned in the moon for years. But it is no less a fate than she sentenced me to. Now, reveal to me the source of this time magic. 
All right. Twilight, no! We have no choice, Spike. I can take you to it, but you'll have to get past the Timberwolves. I am the ruler of all of Equestria. Do you think I can't deal with Timberwolves? No. I know you can. And if you are thinking of trying to escape... It would be very unfortunate for your friend. How does it work? A pony from my time used a spell to travel back and change the past. And now you will give this spell to me. With it, I will ensure that the elements of harmony are never found and my reign lasts forever. But it won't. What? In my world, my friends and I found the elements and used them to defeat you. And I will do everything in my power to bring that world back. Now more than ever, I know how important it is to stop you! Well, good luck! You were right. I can't stop you. But you can't stop me from trying, and we could be stuck doing this for all eternity. If that's what it takes to keep you and your friends from getting your cutie mark connection, then I'm game. What you're doing goes way beyond cutie marks. Everything we do here in the past, even the smallest change, can snowball into an avalanche of trouble for the future. Oh. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that the fate of all of Equestria hangs in the balance. It does! Spare me your overblown ego! No group of friends, not even Princess Twilight's, is that important! I don't know how important other ponies' friendships are to the future, but I can show you what the world is like without mine. The future, or rather, the present. But there's nothing here. I wish I could say I was surprised. But every world I come back to is worse than the last. I don't know why my friends and I are so important to Equestria, but we are. I don't believe you! Come on, Starlight, look around! Like I said, everything in the past affects the future. Even the tiniest act. And what you're doing leads here. I know I can't stop you, but I thought showing you this might change your mind. Change my mind? You don't know anything about me. I was perfectly happy before you and your friends ruined what I built! I don't know what happened that led you to make your village without cutie marks. And I'm sorry my friends and I had to take it away. You want to know what happened to me? I'll show you! Where are we? That map of yours is connected to every part of Equestria, and this part is my home. Sunburst and I did everything together. In fact, I don't remember us ever being apart. Until today.
Just like that, my friend was gone. His family recognized his magical talent and sent him off to Canterlot. I never saw him again. Well, why not? Because of his cutie mark! He got his, and I didn't. He moved on, and I didn't! I stayed here and never made another friend because I was too afraid another cutie mark would take them away too! That's ridiculous. A cutie mark can't take your friends away. Not every pony's lucky enough to get her cutie mark at the same time as her friend! You don't know what it's like to lose a friend because of a cutie mark. But once I stop the rain boom, you will! And when I destroy this scroll, there'll be no way for you to change it! Starlight, you're right! I don't know what you went through, but I do know you can't do this! I've seen where this leads, and so have you! I only saw what you showed me! Who knows what'll really happen? I've seen it a dozen times. Things don't turn out well in Equestria without my friends. Ugh, what's so special about your friends? How can a group of ponies that are so different be so important? The differences between me and my friends are the very things that make our friendship strong. I thought Sunburst and I were the same. But we turned out different, and it tore our friendship apart! So try again. Make new friends. And if something that you can't control happens that changes things, work through it together. That's what friendship is. And it's not just my friendships that are important to Equestria. Every pony's are. When yours ended, it led us here. But just imagine all the others that are out there waiting for you if you just give them a chance. How do I know they won't all end the same way? I guess it's up to you to make sure they don't. Castle of Friendship? Check. What in Equestria was that? Is every pony okay? Eee! Can you do it again? One group of amazing friends? Check. Yeah, Spike. It looks like we're home. Uh, what's she doing here? Actually, it's kind of a long story. was awesome, but I never thought all of Equestria depended on it. Or on us! I think it's more than that. Friendship connects all of Equestria, and undoing one group of friends made its magic less powerful. I can't believe y'all were able to travel through time like that. That starlight must be pretty magical. She obviously has more talent for magic than almost any pony I've seen. My magic couldn't stop her. I had to convince her to stop on her own. Once I realized that, everything fell into place. But if she's as powerful as all that, we can't just send her on her way, can we? Actually, I kind of have something else in mind. <sighs> I know there's no excuse for what I did, but I want you all to know that I'm ready for whatever punishment you think is fair. I've been thinking a lot about how badly Equestria fared without just one group of friends. Because even when one friendship dies, the results can be disastrous. <sighs> I know, first hoof, how true that can be. And that's why I've asked you here. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to teach you what I know. You'll have the power to make Equestria an even better place. How do I start? Starting is easy. All you have to do is make a friend. And you've got seven of them right here. 